Welcome to the Doppler Secret Ops Beginners Series. I'm Ryan, and by the end of this video, you'll know what Secret Ops is, how to manage secrets for an application using Doppler's dashboard, and fully integrate Doppler into your local development environment. Doppler Secret Ops Platform is your new centralized dashboard for keeping secrets in sync across local development, CI/CD, and production. Secret Ops is a set of tools to manage, govern, and orchestrate application secrets at any scale, from a single developer to a large corporation. Gone are the days of manually copying pasting secrets, outages from missing secrets, and the chance of an accidental leak or breach. Just as GitOps, DevOps, and developer platforms have transformed how we ship software, Doppler and Secret Ops are modernizing how teams manage secrets through new collaboration and automation workflows. Doppler is fast, fun, and you'll never look back once you see how easy it is to use. Now let's get you started on your Secret Ops journey by setting up your Doppler workplace. Head to dashboard.doppler.com and create your account. I'll use GitHub to demonstrate, but Google Auth and email and password are also available. Once authenticated, you'll create the initial workplace for your account, which is typically the name of your business or team. Select how you'll use Doppler and the secret managers or deployment platforms you currently use, then click Next to create your workplace. And here we have the Doppler dashboard with a nice little onboarding checklist to help you get started. A workplace is an isolated container around projects where secrets are stored, team members, and billing. Now, a single workplace is sufficient for most businesses, but multiple workplaces can be used to provide isolation between customers if you are a consulting agency. You can also create your own workplace for storing secrets used in personal projects and for experimenting with Doppler features. Let's begin working through the onboarding checklist, starting with creating a project. Projects provide structured storage for application secrets and config in every environment, including local development. Let's head to the project page and create a new project. When it comes to naming your project, the service-app convention, e.g. auth-frontend, auth-backend, works well when a service is composed of multiple applications, or just the app or repository name is fine as well. My application here is a ChatGPT clone, so I'll name it ChatGPT-WebApp, provide an epic description, and done. We have ourselves a project. If you'd like to follow along using this ChatGPT sample app, you can clone it from GitHub, and the repository details are in the description below. Development, staging, and production are the default environments, but these can be renamed, deleted, rearranged, New environments can be added, and you can also customize the default environments created for new projects. Secrets can be added individually or imported in ENV, JSON, or YAML format. Here I'm going to use the sample.env file from my application. Newly added secrets have their visibility set to masked, which requires clicking into the field to view, but I'm going to change the config values to unmasked so it's easy to see secrets from config. Clicking Save will confirm if these changes should be applied to other environments. I'm going to hold off for now as we're just focusing on local development, but this is a really handy feature when introducing a new secret to make sure it's not missing from other environments. Alrighty, the secrets are now safely stored in Doppler. Now let's install the Doppler CLI in our local development environment. The Doppler CLI makes managing secrets via the command line a breeze especially when it comes to injecting secrets into applications, commands, and scripts. Head to docs.doppler.com, find the install command for your OS, paste it into your terminal, then test installation work correctly by running the Doppler command. Next, authenticate your local machine so it can fetch secrets by running Doppler login. This will prompt you to open a browser window requesting an auth code. This should have automatically been copied to your clipboard but you can also grab this manually from the terminal. Select your workplace, confirm the token name, 
which you can leave as is, as it's just your machine name. Then once authentication has been completed, you can test CLI access by running Doppler projects. Now let's integrate the Doppler CLI into our development workflow. The days of hard-coded secrets and config and text files are over, as the Doppler CLI dynamically injects secrets into your application when launched. So how does the CLI know which secrets to inject for a given application? Switching to VS Code, open a terminal in the application root and run the Doppler setup command, then select the project and development environment. This maps the application folder to the chosen project and environment. And if you're developing in a mono repo, the process is exactly the same. Just run Doppler setup in each application subfolder. You can then test secrets access by running Doppler secrets. Doppler injects secrets into your application as environment variables by default by feeding the launch command or script to the Doppler run command. So for my application, that would be Doppler run manage.py run server. You can also access values within the command itself using the command option. So here's a variation where I'm using the value stored in Doppler for host and port. Now I'll quickly check my application is working as I expect. All right, looking good. So the Doppler CLI is super simple to use and it ensures your team always has the latest version of secrets during local development. Now let's take a look at the secret update flow by heading back to the dashboard and I'm going to update the model value. Heading back to VS Code, we rerun our application and there we can see that the model value has been updated. Now while environment variables are the most common method for secret injection, secrets can also be mounted as an ephemeral file that is automatically cleaned up when the process exits. For example, Laravel requires an ENV file during local development. So here we can achieve this by using the mount option and then supplying the command to launch the Laravel development server. Now, this is barely scratching the surface of what the CLI can do. So check out the docs to see what else is possible. Now let's delve into how to integrate Doppler with Visual Studio Code. Now you can edit your secrets where you edit your code with the official Doppler VS Code extension. Install from the extensions marketplace inside VS Code, then open the Doppler panel to begin the setup process. You'll be asked to authenticate if you haven't already, then select the project and config for the current application, as well as the code assist settings you'd like to enable. These can be updated anytime from the settings panel. Secrets are accessed by selecting the project, the development environment, and then making the required changes to the secrets provided in YAML format. Then simply save the changes to sync the updates to Doppler. And Doppler's two-way secret sync ensures any updates will be instantly reflected inside VS Code. Environment variable autocomplete is also an awesome feature that's supported for all major languages. Doppler also seamlessly integrates into VS Code's debugger. Using Python as an example, only a single environment variable is needed as our Doppler ENV Python package automatically injects secrets when your app is launched by the debugger. Check out the VS Code section in our docs for examples in other languages. Doppler provides a super easy flow for editing secrets and debugging apps in VS Code and without the need for hard code environment variables or ENV files. But it's not just about VS Code. Let's finish by taking a look at integrating Doppler with IntelliJ based IDEs such as PyCharm. Doppler means hard coded environment variables never need to be stored in IntelliJ debug profiles again. Using Python as an example, add the Doppler ENV package to your project requirements, then update the Python debug configuration to include the Doppler underscore ENV environment variable. And that's it. Your secrets from Doppler are dynamically injected each time the debugger is launched. You've now got a solid introduction to secret ops through creating your first project, importing your secrets, and fully integrating Doppler into your local development environment. Join me in part two, where we cover Doppler's collaborative features so your teammates can join in on the secret ops action.